Okay, hi then guys, and welcome to Fur Seal Cove here at Living Coast. My name's Tom, and this afternoon we're gonna be talking about South American fur seals. Now quite often there's a little bit of confusion as to what's a seal and what is a sea lion. There's actually mixed reports as to what makes a seal a seal and a sea lion a sea lion, and also throw in the mix that all sea lions are seals, but not all seals are sea lions. Now, what makes them unique in terms of being a South American fur seal is the fact they've got two layers of fur. They're also part of the eared seal family, which means they've got these little ear flaps on the outside of their heads. They're also, like sea lions, able to hold themselves up on their flippers and move around pretty quickly on the land. The reason they can do this is because they've got really big, long, strong flippers at the front, which they use for swimming. Whereas true seals, they've got small front flippers and long back flippers. The other distinction is that they actually can't interbreed. So a sea lion, which is much larger, generally, can actually interbreed with a fur seal, meaning that these guys are actually considered different species. The seals themselves uh, have two layers of fur. Now the under layer, uh, it's like a thermal layer, it's nice and thick and warm and that keeps them nice and warm through the winter months or in deep cold water. As well as that they've also got a layer of guard hairs on top which actually act like an insulating waterproof layer so that when they're in the water their muscles will contract, uh, their fur will stick close to their body and uh, produce a streamlined body shape, we call it a fusiform body shape where there's a pointy end at the front and a pointy end at the back and that means that when they're swimming they can rocket through at 25 miles per hour in search of fish or trying to avoid those predators. Now, there are also big differences between the way they look within the population. The males are huge. They can weigh up to 150 kilos. Females, by comparison, are much, much smaller. In fact, the average weight of a female is around about 50 to 60 kilos. So much smaller compared to the boys. And that's because they've got a very different role. Their job is to keep themselves safe by being fast in the water and acrobatic, but also catch enough fish to feed their babies some very calorific milk. And the males, on the other hand, they'll make their way to the breeding grounds a couple of weeks before the ladies and spend two or three weeks fighting for their territories, making sure that they've got a space for themselves so when the ladies arrive, all the females in that territory are theirs to breed with. Once the breeding season concludes, uh, the baby seals actually have to learn to swim. They're the animals that aren't actually born with the ability to swim, which is pretty amazing considering the fact that they can swim so well when they're adults. Um, now what the mums will do is actually crash together and form um, these nursery groups where a few females at a time will look after babies in a big group and actually teach them how to swim in shallow water. Now once that's taken place, the babies are then ready to move out into deeper water and start finding fish for themselves. Normally, this can be anywhere up to about a year of age. Now once that takes place, um, the babies luckily have, or the toddlers at this stage, have much darker fur than the adults. And that darker fur, that coloration means that they can blend in better in deeper water. So if any animals like killer whales or sharks that might actually predate on seals, spot them, um, they can get away into the depths, into the darkness pretty quickly and avoid being seen. Now the seals we're talking about this afternoon, the South American fur seals, are actually found all across the continent of South America. Um, up the western coast you've got Chile uh, and Peru, they're found in both countries. Uh, they're also found on the eastern coast as well, along Argentina, Brazil and Uruguay. Uh, one also lesser known location that they're found is the Falkland Islands where you find lots of seabirds like penguins, um, five species of penguins. You also get these South American fur seals too. And the feeding grounds there are perfect feeding grounds for these seals. And the reason for that is because seals like to eat fish. Their main diet is fish. They do also eat things like squid as well and the occasional seabird including penguins if they can get their mitts on a penguin. Um, but they hunt using a very special technique. They have whiskers and their whiskers are very specially adapted to help them catch their fish underwater. Most animals that have whiskers are long, straight whiskers. Seals are actually wavy and very thick, and this helps them to pick up the vibrations created by the movement of the fish and squid underwater, meaning that they still find their food even if they can't see it. The seals, like lots of marine mammals, unfortunately are under threat from many, many things. Uh, primarily, Something that affects most animals in the ocean is plastics 
and not only for ingestion, actually eating the plastics themselves, but also entanglement for seals. If they can't swim well, they can't catch their fish and they can't escape their predators. As well as that, there's also the problem of overfishing. Now this is when we're going out into the waters, taking too many fish and not leaving enough out there for animals like seals that need to go and hunt many, many fish in a day, up to five kilos a day of fish. Um, if there's not enough out there, they simply cannot find it. So particularly around South America, some of the places that they call feeding grounds, the difficulty is they're just not able to find their fish. Now seals often get the nickname the dogs of the sea and that's partly thanks to the fact that they're very playful animals, they're very inquisitive and like to go and see what fishermen and what we're up to on the beaches. Um, but actually they're very distinctly related to other animals, animals like bears. Over time, animals like bears that would have spent more and more time in the water hunting fish would have eventually evolved into what we know and love as seals today. So their closest relative is actually bears and the clues in the name, their Latin name, Arctocephalus australis, which translates loosely to mean the bear-headed seal. And that's because they've got long, sharp, pointy teeth like bears. None of their teeth are like our molars. None of them are flat for chewing, which means that seals actually don't chew their food. Not the best example to some of the kids watching today. These seals actually just get hold of their fish in one go and swallow it straight down the hatch.